everyone welcome to our channel biology for all in this video i'm going to talk about the connective tissues connective tissues are basically classified into three main types the connective tissue proper the supportive connective tissue and the fluid connective tissue this connective tissue proper is further classified as areola adipose and fibrous the supportive connective tissue is further divided into bone and cartilage and the fluid connective tissue is blood and lymph let us now have a look at the connective tissue proper areolar connective tissues are the loose connective tissue which help in binding the different organs in our body as well as this can be found beneath the skin now in this there are two different types of fibers the thick fibers and thin fibers apart from that there are different types of cells also present in this in the ground matrix which is a loose matrix the thick fibers are the collagen fibers and the thin fibers are the elastic fibers the main cells here are the fibroblast cells which produces these fibers the ground tissue as i mentioned is a loose tissue here the adipose connective tissue the adipose connective tissue is mainly for insulation and for protection of most of the vital organs they show the presence of large cells and some fibers these cells have a high vacuole like area with the nucleus towards the sides the fibers here are the collagen fibers and these cells are called as adipocytes or fat storing cells the ground matrix is also loose as seen here but the cells are present very close to each other in the fibrous connective tissue we can find different uh, cells here which are the fibroblast cells and there are thick fibers present in them these fibers may be arranged regularly or irregularly depending on the regular dense tissue or the irregular dense tissue next let us see the supportive connective tissue supportive connective tissue as the name suggests provides support to the body bones are the main supportive tissues which consists of cells that are called as osteocytes these are arranged in concentric circles which are called as the haversian system each haversian system has a haversian canal that contains blood vessels and nerves The osteocytes when arranged in concentric circles are called lamellae. Cartilage is another type of supportive connective tissue which has a loose matrix and they show presence of lacunae. These lacunae have cells in them. There may be about 2 to 3 cells in each lacunae and these cells are called as chondrocytes. The membrane that covers the cartilage is called perichondrium. fluid connective tissue blood is the fluid connective tissue that flows through blood vessels this consists of various type of blood cells and a liquid part that is called as a plasma the blood cells which have nucleus and are considerably large in size are called as leukocytes or wbcs and the ones without nucleus are the rbcs or erythrocytes platelets help in clotting of blood lymph is the other fluid connective tissue lymph vessels have small openings and these are present in the different tissues the cells in a tissue have interstitial spaces which consists of interstitial fluid or tissue fluid the tissue fluid is something which has leaked out from the blood vessels these tissue fluid may enter inside the lymph vessels when they accumulate in between the tissues so this interstitial fluid or tissue fluid when it enters inside the vessel is called as a lymph 